for some reason I didn't even look at your t-shirt. Now I'm saying, keep calm, I'm with Dogara. That's, uh, is that, that's your message, right? Uh, of course, Dogara is the, is the speaker. Mm -hmm. I am I'm with Dogara. Mm -hmm. uh, and at the moment, those calling for leadership change. You, is, um, you did not put, I'm with the House of Representatives. Could I ask you? You said, I'm a member have, of the House of have, Representatives. Have, Dogara is the speaker. Mm -hmm. And for reasons best known to, to few, they want the leadership out. Some are agitating for the leadership to, to step down and all of that. But you see, don't also forget that everyone must be assumed to be innocent until proven guilty mm -hmm. you know and uh, we must give every one of them that benefit of the doubt including mm -hmm. abdul himself mm -hmm. you know like, like i said not forgetting the fact but when you that, wear a t-shirt like not this forgetting the fact that yeah. at the leadership level after the presiding and the principal officers the most important person the most important committee and the chairman is appropriation mm -hmm. And Abdul Mumun and um, Dogara share the whole lot of friendship. When you say that, you know, we should give them their innocent and proven guilty, when you wear a t-shirt like this, st stating categorically whom you're for, don't you think that it already makes the person innocent, even if he, he could be found guilty much later? Are we talking about guilt, guilty here, finding someone guilty, or are we talking about making the necessary reforms? The leader of the house said something that, you know, some people have tried bringing him into the whole thing, into the drama. And he, I, I, I read what he sent out. You know, it's not about a leadership change. I'm just asking about your T-shirt. Well, the question is, the T-shirt mm -hmm. states categorically that I am for the speaker. I am not missing words about it. Mm. But what I'm saying is, we're not talking about a leadership change here. What we're talking about is the reforms. And those reforms are things that Nigerians should be thankful for this whole process. If we're able to achieve the reforms, when we get back to the house, I believe that everyone will come in and say, okay, moving forward, these and these are the right things to do. No, I, I can tell you, I can, I can cite one instance, sorry. Honorable, I'm, I'm afraid we run out of time. On, a colleague on. mentioned something about 40 million mm -hmm. going to Lagos. Mm -hmm. If you have 40 million going to Lagos and you have over... 100 or 200 million going to another member. Mm -hmm. That's not that's not justice. Mm -hmm. So we all have to sit down. And these are constituency projects. At the end of the day, it also helps the executive because that's the only way my constituents will believe that the executive is working. Honorable, that will be a fine place to leave it. Thank you so much for coming on Sunrise Daily. We've been speaking with Honorable Tony Woolley, who is the Deputy Chairman, House Committee on Capital Markets and Development. It's back to you now in Lagos. Well, that's where we draw the curtains uh, today on the program. Well, thank you all for watching. We'll be back tomorrow. I'm Chamberlain Usa. I'm Neil Taibbi. Thank you. And I'm Malpe Ogun. Thank you.